Okay, just got the new gold-plated bell from PCBWay. It's based on an STL file that I designed and sent to them. They 3D printed the file in resin. Um, I'll put links to the earlier video where I had selected what I wanted was a brass color and this uh, candy apple red is what they consider brass colored. So that wasn't quite right so went back and told them well let's try the gold that's going to got to be closer to what I want. And in fact let's see let's move this out of the way. This is a one that I 3D printed uh, on my Bamboo Labs A1 Mini and smoothed and just spray painted with gold paint because even brass spray paint doesn't look like brass. It doesn't look candy apple red but it doesn't look like brass. So this uh, is what I made while I was waiting for the, that one to come and uh, you can see it's just just a mere finish on the whole thing. Now whatever their process is they aren't able to mask off areas. I'd asked if they could mask off the inside or especially where the little bearings go on these gears the outside ones where the bearings get pressed in I can uh, I can clean easily but the inside ones because of the center post were a problem. I had ground down the uh, the finish on this because this sockets inside another part. So I thought I'd walk you through the steps if you wanted to order something that was in fact plated. Well we don't really know if it's plated. Let's let's just start on their web page here. So if you're at their web page, maybe I can get centered a little bit better. Keep the keystoning to a minimum. Okay, let's try that. So on their web page, you've got all the different choices and oops, didn't mean to hit that. And as you know, you can uh, based on my videos in the past, and I'll put some links down below. I've done their CNC machining. I've done their uh, 3D printing in metal. I've done their incredible uh, clear plastic 3D printing. I've done a lot of them. I'll put links to some of those things down below. So I'm going to go up here to the CNC 3D printing and then I can skate right on down to 3D printing. And then what they're saying is drag or drop your, your file in there and they give you examples of the type of files that would be acceptable. STL, OBJ, STEP, and so on. And somewhere I've got the, got the file ready. Here we go. Let's take that and let's try dragging it there. And while that's loading, which isn't going to take long, it's almost done. Okay, and there it shows the, the bell, so I know it's got loaded in. Next thing you're going to want to know is the quantity, and we just have to start with something. We'll start with one. I have, in fact, obviously already run this just as a resin 3D printed part, and if you weren't having any plating done or anything else, just having it resin 3D printed, it is about $5, $5 and change. Um, if you have just one, of these made plated, just one, you're looking at more like $174. Now if you had up to 10 of them made, the plated ones, then the price then drops down to somewhere around uh, $44, $45 a piece. Uh, if you've looked on, on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet into how they plate non-metallic things you know there's so many steps and so many procedures involved and there's so much handling that if you're paying someone to do that and not doing it yourself it becomes quite expensive because it's not a one-step process so i put the file in for now we'll just leave it at one set the millimeters because because that's what my file was in i'm going to let it default to resin and once you're in that it's going to default to uh, a standard white resin material, which is what I, I left it, just standard. But they have lots of different choices if you had something else that you wanted in particular. So next, I'm trying to remember, I think it's under matte white, maybe, or maybe it's under surface finishes. Yes, let's go to surface finishes here. It's been just long enough that I don't completely remember. So under surface finishes, they can do spray painting. Uh, they can do detail sanding, and here is the electroplating. If you're doing spray painting, they've got some basic colors here. Or if you have a, a custom color you want to put in, 
or Pantone color number, they can work with that too. So under electrical plating, here are their common colors, as you can see here. And I have a gold selected now. You can put in custom colors and again Pantone if that's going to help if you've got a Pantone book. Now somewhere here, uh, under electroplating here it says vacuplating, high gloss paint. So I'm not so sure that this is just a electroplate process and not a vacuplate process. I can't tell you that for sure because they use both words. Now on YouTube when you're looking for people that are plating things they'll use electroplating. They use the word electroforming which was new to me and then of course there is the vacuplating. In any case all of these uh, choices involve a lot of manual labor. Here it talks about vacuplating. Let's see if there's anything here that might. Vacuplating mainly includes vacuum uh, exportation, sputtering, and ion plating. They are used to deposit various metals and non-metal... Can't uh, quite read it. I'm s the camera is blocking me with my uh, poor vision. I need to be about here in order to read that. You can go to the website. You can look this up and read it for yourself if it's something that you uh, want to look into. So in this case we will have uh, selected, I guess I didn't select it. Let's go back to electroplating. We have uh, common colors gold. I guess that's what they consider gold. Submit. Yes, it shows it there now as gold. And you go down here, unless you're going to tap threads and do some other special practices, you would go there. Before you can go any further, if you want to get an actual price quote, they need to know what the, what, what the thing is going to be used for. I just say DIY entertainment and robot component. That makes the system happy. At that point, this price that's here isn't really relevant because it's not actually... It hasn't been looked at by a human. They haven't looked at the part, considered the process steps. So at this point, you need to submit a request. And it generally takes at least one day to get a reply back, one business day. If I did this on the weekend, they wouldn't even look at it till Monday, so that means Tuesdays when I would get the reply back. But having already gone through all this, I can already tell you that if I ordered just one of these electroplated or vacuplated, whichever the case may be, the price for this part was about $174. And if I ordered 10, 10 to 20 in that range, then the price drops down to around $44 a piece, much more reasonable. So it's going to really depend on your part, how big it is, uh, what you want done with it. Perhaps if you just want it resin printed on their machine, you, you're back in the $5 range for something. I didn't uh, investigate just having it painted because that, remember that was a choice we had back here. Let's go back to that and just see what pops up there. Let's go back to here and let's go to spray painting and if they consider that gold they consider that yellow, Pantone yellow. What would they consider this? Orange. So I don't know. I guess you could go into custom color and perhaps type in gold or if you had a Pantone book, or you probably just go online these days and look up the Pantone uh, color number for gold and then submit the whole thing that way and see if just spray painting the thing, you know, worked out price-wise. Anyway, I wanted to show you that they did come back, they did redo the job, and this is an amazing looking part in person. Highly reflective. Obviously no lower lines. Mechanically accurate. I have, have had it installed on the unit and everything uh, worked perfectly just as it should. Obviously I, I painted the little nubs. You know when you get the part from them the whole thing is going to be plated. I had to clear out the plating here in order to press the bearings in and uh, because they couldn't get in there and clear out the inside to press the bearings in. But highly reflective. Very very smooth. Very nice finish.